All right, this is video two uh, for the soccer game creation. Sorry that my last video I had to edit and cut it off short uh, because I went a little bit long. Uh, so my our the next thing I was working on, uh, well, I wasn't able to finish it, so I just cut the video. So sorry about that. All right, moving right along, we are now going to create a bottom layer. Right now, we have a world to where everything our characters and the ball will interact with the wall but we want to add some art elements uh, to this so that um, but we don't want it to interact with the characters or the ball so at the bottom if you'll click on a layer and then click on background all right so now you'll see it go blank and now we're going to go ahead and create just some just some little things here to add some aesthetic value to our game. So I'm going to go ahead and click create and I'm just going to type in background edit sprite. I'm just going to make that white. Whoops. That's not white. Let's do that again. Here we go. Go ahead and click OK. I can do that. Sometimes getting that recording buttons in the way. There we go. Hit OK. Clone. Again, I'm going a little bit faster because this is the second video. All right. And now over here, same thing. Just add some aesthetic value. You give, you know, it's something that looks like it. All right. Now I want to have a beginning. I mean, a middle line here, uh, a middle value, to where the computer and your player character will begin. But I don't want to have a thick line. I'm going to go ahead and thin that out. So I'm going to hit done cloning. Then I'm going to go ahead and create a new sprite. Call that line. Edit sprite. Now I'm going to go ahead and make the middle part white. Go ahead and click the eraser tool. And I'm going to erase the back and front lines. Go ahead and click OK. Uh, it's very annoying. And now I'm going to go ahead and clone that. And now I've got my line made. I have my line made to where I have a soccer. Go ahead and click done cloning. Get rid of that one. Sorry. All right. Now let's go back to our game world. So go to game level or go to layers. Go to game world. All right. So now we're back in the main section. Let's go ahead and create our main player. Uh, that we're going to go ahead and control. So go ahead and click inside create sprite. Go ahead and name that uh, player or P1, whatever you want. Now I'm going to go ahead and look at my physics. All right, we definitely want it movable, affected by gravity. Uh, the density is fine, bounce, all that looks good. Okay, just make sure that we have that movable and affected by gravity. Um, let's see here. Let's go ahead and go on to behaviors. And go ahead and do a behavior bundle, the run and jump. That way that's completed for us. Go ahead and click inside the run and jump. All right, let's add a few more things. You have the run and jump capabilities. Uh, before we do anything else, actually, let's go ahead and go back to our sprite and create uh, the character and then the animation. So I went back out and click Edit Sprite. And let's go ahead and go to Browse, Select Category, Pixel Characters, and you can choose whichever character you want for yours. So I'm going to go ahead and click that first one. And you can go ahead and change any of their colors. Uh, you want to go ahead and change that pixels to where it's smaller again. And you can change the colors. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just keep the uniform the way it is. Maybe I'll I'll add a uh, headband or something later. But for right now, I'm I'm good with that. Uh, actually, no. Let's go ahead and change them into shorts. So I'm going to go ahead and give them some legs. But now the legs are sticking out. Go ahead and give them a headband. I'm not too sure about that red nose. 
change his nose a little bit. And I guess I'll give him a purple headband to match. So now he looks more like an athlete. All right. And now we're going to create an animation. So click on your animation tool to your left. Pick animation. I'm going to go ahead and create, create new. And this will be the walk animation. All right. Just like we did in the other video, I'm going to click that plus sign two more times. I get a good animation going. Go back to your character list. Yep. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on that third one. Now, I have to go back and change the colors, which is fine. I didn't want to make it too crazy with the colors. Oh, that's not matching. There we go. Change that red nose. I'm not sure what's up with that red nose. All right, I got to change the legs, leg colors. This probably looks good. And this one looks a little more complicated. Just add some white there, so let's see how that looks. Yep, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little more white, maybe right down there. Alright, can't forget my purple headband. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, it's not bad. All right, now that we've added that animation, changed his uh, pants into shorts, added a headband, so now it looks like an athlete. Or she or it looks like an athlete. You can do a cat and add a headband to the cat, whatever, whatever's going on. All right, let's go back to the behaviors of our first player. And let's go ahead and add uh, add the animation under properties. Go ahead and click animation. And it's already, since we only had one animation created, it went ahead and That's cool. I see an update. You see the uh, the circles and lines moving through it, so it shows how it connects all through. Uh, last time I've I haven't used this in a couple months. Uh, that must be something new, a new update. That's pretty cool. All right. So every time I press down, we want it to start. Anytime the left trigger key is up, you want it to stop. Anytime the right key is pressed down, you want it to start. Anytime it's up. You want it to stop. Okay, we got that down move. Okay, so that looks good. Let's just go ahead and press play to make sure it's working good. Yep, got that. Got it jumping. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and change the jump force on the up button. I wonder if I just froze my game up underneath because of this mouse. I'm just having some technical issues. Sorry about that. All right. Next, we are going to increase the jump force. Let's go ahead and increase that to 16. I got the switch off on. Let's just go ahead and see how he jumps now. This recording button just in the way. Sorry. There we go. All right. Now we'll cover the whole uh, span of our indoor arena. Okay. So that looks good. Next. Okay, uh, we'll come back to this character to create and fill in the other 
uh, objectives we need to fill in. Let's go ahead and create our computer characters. Go ahead and hit OK. Go ahead and create a new sprite. And I'm going to go ahead and just click or type in computer. Uh, for the physics, uh, we want it movable, but I do not want my characters, my computers, <coughs> excuse me, to be affected by gravity. So I'll click that and go ahead and change the bounce to uh, like 11 and a half or 12. No, give or take, that's fine. And the four direction we want to go in towards the player one goal. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that forward direction to the right. Going back to edit sprite. And now we're going to do the same thing that we did with character one. We're going to go ahead and find browse, select characters. And I'm going to go ahead and Look through, I can choose a monster. Go ahead and choose our character here. And go ahead and add some different textures and tones. I'm gonna go ahead and make my character African American. And go ahead and add, oh, yellow headband. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and add animation while I'm in this. So click animation, create new, rename it walk, add two more, change to the middle, switch, change to the last, switch. Now again, I'm going to go ahead and change the colors to match the first animation. I forgot to turn his pants into legs. Well, it looks like he's wearing shorts. Again, you can pause or fast forward through this. Uh, if you already know how to do all this. And the last one. Better hurry up. I only have about 30 seconds left on my recording for this. Before I run out of time. And the yellow. Alright, that's going to do it uh, for this video. Go ahead and click on video 3 for the rest.